This is the periodic table we all use. Yes, says America. Almost all of them end in eum. Yes. And this is an element in the periodic table. Yes. So say aluminium. Aluminum. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think the British kind of got us here. I mean, even this element ends in em. Let's see what Google thinks. Aluminum. Oh! Oh, it says the American pronunciation right there. How about the British? Aluminum. What? No. Although, in all fairness, in the UK, it would be said more as aluminium. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Google got to update their pronunciation of the British version. I like this question. Why do British mispronounce aluminum? <laughs> I mean, I guess since the dude that discovered this element was a British chemist, we should probably pronounce it the British way. Uh, let's also keep in mind there is also a ton of elements that don't end in eum, like gold, mercury, silver, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. There's so many. Also, I think the big outlier here is platinum. Europe laughing in H-A, H-A, H-A. Russia laughing in X-A. A X A X A. Brazil laughing in J A J A J A. Norway laughing in H O with a slash in it. H O H O. What is that called again? The Dutch laughing in H A E H A E H A E. And then finally, there's Japan with uh, what? Is their keyboard messed up? Japan, I'm extremely confused why you laugh in W. Woo! I actually have a lot of things to say about this meme in general, though. First of all, I don't think it's the Brazilians that laugh in J-A-J-A-J-A. -A -A -A. That's the Spanish-speaking countries. In Brazil, they speak Portuguese, but they laugh in Ks, which kind of makes the meme less funny since, I mean, Japan laughs in Ws. The theory behind this is because the letter K is pronounced like car minus the R, so ka. Repeating it many times like K makes it easier. Um, okay. There's at least two nations that just use a single letter to represent laughing. That brings me to my second question, though. Why are the Dutch using three letters. I feel like it is probably better to use only two letters or less just because, you know, you want to be able to type it out fast. This map here actually looks like they have the Danish using the H-A-E-H-A-E, -E -E, but maybe it's just like over the wrong country. Finally, as for the subject of this entire meme here, in the 90s and 2000s, Japanese users adapted this character to denote the laughter or similar to LOL. Eventually, people just found it easier to use W. I guess that's what this all comes down to, whatever is easiest just to type out. And now I'm starting to think, why we gotta use two letters? Let's just use one. Why can't I just mass spam? H. There are actually several countries around the world that just use one letter. One Central Asia with just R. Korea's, which is just a K, but also there's a dash there. Finally, there's the best of all, Thailand, who laughs in fives. That's gotta be the most giga chat. American chocolate, you guys always act like you're better than me. Meanwhile, Belgium chocolate, Swiss chocolate, and German chocolate all actually be better than American chocolate. I've only ever actually tried Swiss chocolate in real life, and uh, yeah, this is kinda true. Well, at least chocolate from the origin country. I know you can get it out here. American chocolate, you think you're better than me. Meanwhile, in Europe, I am better than you. They're just gonna say it straight up. No beating around the bush. Why do I feel like the reason American chocolate isn't as good as European chocolate is a similar reason why American Coke isn't as good as Coke from Mexico or anywhere else? Maybe that's something to do with the way we, like, process our foods and drinks. Ooh, look at all them spices. All the countries that were invaded for said spices. Cast them into your food. Use them. Meanwhile, all of Great Britain, like, no. <laughs> That's gotta hurt even more. They took over all that land and all that territory just for some spices, yet, uh, yeah, they're not even putting it inside their food. Not even using it! I don't understand. They probably just use it to sell it to other people. Man, that spice trade was wild back in the day. Stop using anti-B language. Instead of saying, oh no, a swarm of bees, say, finally, a blessing of bumbles. Instead of saying, I'm allergic to bee stings, say, I haven't accepted my love for bees yet and my body acts accordingly. Instead of saying, holy Holy crap, that bee has a gun! Say, I'm proud of the bees for expressing their rights. Instead of saying, I don't believe in bees, say, I'm open to the possibility of bees. Finally, those bees are committing j j something really bad. Say, I welcome the cleansing of the bees. It's about time we finally stick up for these insects. Don't forget, if you really want to support them, you gotta watch this every day. When you're from Alabama and you see a hot girl, those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant. Distant. <laughs> I have to admit, as someone born from Montgomery, Alabama, this meme is inaccurate. We don't care if they're distant. When you and the boys start to notice more and more New York and Californian license plates in your quiet rural town. Yeah, maybe that's uh, why it's probably best to change your license plate if you can. Did you know in the movie 
Interstellar, the water planet scenes were shot on Earth. Wow, I had no idea. I was convinced they actually went halfway across the galaxy to get this shot. Alright, but there's no doubt they actually went to Hoth for Star Wars. Ooh, a little bit of the Serbian language. Meanwhile, also adding in a little bit of Turkish loan words. There's also the Latin alphabet, as well as all of... And finally, we have the Bosnian language pack. What an interesting combination that I'd never thought we'd ever see before. I guess this explains some stuff. No, you must accept the conditions of the treaty like everyone else. Even your sultan has accepted it. Meanwhile, all of Turkey, I reject. Yeah, they wasn't gonna let this happen after WW1. They was gonna make sure everything stayed nice and together. Talk about an Ata Turk moment. When the Swedish exchange student speaks their language and the furniture starts assembling itself. Oh, that's how those IKEA manuals are supposed to work. You're supposed to be speaking Swedish while doing it and it all just magically comes together. Historians in 2046 trying to make any sort of sense out of 2016 through 2027. And that's actually the best part. It doesn't make any sense. We lost a gorilla named Harambe and then everything just went to sh When the Russians said they'll be in Kiev in three days, but you've been left waiting for a whole year. Right. Three days? Is that what you said? Interesting special military operation they got there. Let's go in and out three day adventures, says Putin. Meanwhile, one year later. Yeah, it's been the one year anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This is probably a pretty good way to summarize it so far. The US, when Russia launches enough nukes to destroy half the world, that's a great move. I think I'll copy it. And this one meme has summarized the policy of mad, mutually assured destruction. No one's just gonna allow themselves to go down without a fight. American weeaboos and Japanese Westaboos fighting over which country is superior. So in this instance, one of them is a Japanese Westaboo fighting that America is superior, and the other one is a Weeaboo doing the reverse. Wait, I'm not sure how the Westaboos work. Do they just watch MCU movies every day? Me, an anime despiser, when I see the so-called masterpiece that is Girls and Panzers, who the frick gave tanks to minors? And I've been told to watch this anime so many times throughout my career. I mean, I still might maybe one day, but how do they get a hold of so many no-no German tanks? Well, maybe not all of them are no-no German, just tanks and General. Europeans and Americans saying, my chocolate is better than yours. No, my chocolate's better. Meanwhile, amateurs. What was that? Punk Japanese people, amateurs. I have to admit, I've not learned much about Japanese chocolate. I like how one of the most famous brands of Japanese chocolates is called Ghana. Like, the country? Or what? what's going on? Since Japan does sweets so well, I actually wouldn't be surprised if their chocolate's also pretty good. Meow in American. Meow in French. Meow in Russian. Meow in Sweden. Meow in Chinese. Meanwhile, there's what Japan does. And uh, I actually knew this. I knew this because I've been on YouTube for a very long time. This video will forever be seared into my memories. Random YouTuber with a foreign accent and 12 subscribers. Meanwhile, me need an extremely specific step-by-step -step tutorial. And that's the thing, they will literally always have the answers. And it will literally like save your life for some reason, all the time. Keeps you from like failing a class and then having to drop out of school. And some sort of miracle always takes place. Medusa, one. Jesus, zero. Considering there's probably a lot more uh, stone Jesuses around the world, I think Medusa actually has a lot more than just one. Someone's gotta give him a blindfold. Guys, guys! It's finally happening. It's about time. Why did it take this long? Waited my whole life for this moment. I don't know what I'm talking about. I am definitely not coming here. Or I guess I just won't apply to get a job there. I can maybe come in the daytime. Unreal Engine when the Israel Engine walks in. Israel or Israel? What are we talking about? Is this country developing some sort of a video game engine we don't know about? UFOs are real. We don't know what they are, says the US government. Meanwhile, everybody reading that. Yeah, well, uh, I don't really care. See ya. Kind of seems to be the case, but again, I think it's because most of the public realizes a UFO, you know, it could be, well, it could be anything. Doesn't necessarily confirm aliens, but, um, I don't know, it could too. Me risking my life to get to the university on time, only to play chess online during the whole class. This was literally my entire college career summarized. I would sit there in the back on my laptop looking like I was working on stuff. Meanwhile, I was just playing 3D pinball. Millennials explaining the rise of cell phones and the internet as it happened. Meanwhile, some random Gen Zers in the crowd, I remember not scientifically possible. Yeah, there's just no way we're gonna believe that. Remembering cell phones and the rise of the internet as a Gen Zer is one thing. Remembering Invader Zim is another. How kids in Oklahoma learn geography and probably more than just Oklahoma for just like a lot of the people that live in these states nearby as well. Gotta keep up to date with where those storms and tornadoes are going. For the most part, this is probably how most kids start learning geography, just from weird weather men. Ah, uh, so what it means to raise your arm because they have a drastically different definition depending on how 
how far the arm is raised. If your arm's just down by your side, you're chilling, you're resting. If your arm is at that five o'clock angle, then you're probably just here to pet a dog. Meanwhile, at a four o'clock position, your arm is here to probably pet some children. Directly parallel with the ground, you're probably trying to call a taxi. Meanwhile, everything right here is the no-go zone. Then all the way up at top, that's to call a waiter or ask if you have a question to a teacher. Just make sure one single arm does not get raised to this degree anywhere between the one and three o'clock positions. You know, just kind of like anything here. Maybe even like in the middle between 12 and one is still a little bit risky. And honestly, even at three o'clock, you're testing your luck. Well, especially for sure if you happen to be in the country of Germany. Used to be okay back in the day, but definitely not anymore. You know, now that I think about it, maybe petting a child is also kind of just a bad idea in general too. Maybe just don't do that. Some, something's weird about that. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023. The Polish, Lithuanian, Quinn, Commonwealth, Taylor, Portugal John, is Denver, not Balkans, Good old Ryan, 245, Iowa, Barbados, Drew, if you don't come to crack out Poland, I will find you. Grandpa, $20 uh, is a lot, Drew. Why am I Taylor doing this? Drew does Andrew every boy, $20. Jack Traven's annoying friends. Robert Rush, Anime, Drake, Ralph, Weekend, Hamster,